Well, you know, before you know it, the new year is going to be here. Oh, it's going so fast. So it's time to start setting new year goals now. We are joined by Coach Aaron Carter with some motivation to do just that. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. All right, so so what are some things people can do? We've got a couple of weeks here, uh, Aaron, uh, before we get to the start of the new year. How, how can you prepare for a big, ambitious new year resolution, like right now, today? Right now, right today. It's amazing that we're at the end of 2022. 20, you know, I, I look at it from a five five point perspective, and really, you, you have to first write down your goal. You know, identify what you want, identify your goal, identify what it is that you want to achieve. And, you know, from there, you know, people always like to make resolutions. I prefer to write the goals, write your goals down and then develop your why. Why is it that you want to achieve this goal? I always say that your why will cause you to put in the work and do the work even when you don't feel like doing it. And, you know, that's number two. Number three, find an accountability partner. Find that person that's going to hold you accountable and push you even when you don't feel like working on your goal. Um, that person is going to push you and they're going to tell you the truth and they're going to encourage you. Um, you have to have an accountability partner. Then number four, you have to be able to see it. You have to, uh, if you want to achieve it, write your goal down on your mirror in your bathroom so as you're brushing your teeth, you can uh, easily see the goal that you're aspiring to achieve. And then the last thing is set your goals up to be monthly goals, not this year goal. If you set it up monthly, you can track it and celebrate those small wins as you go along. And those are the five critical things that really uh, will help you achieve your, your goals as you go through and prepare for 2023. I like that. The idea of more of a monthly goal instead mm. of a yearly goal. Yeah. A year seems so long, even though we know it's not, but <laughs> the little increments are a lot less intimidating. Yeah. Uh, and when it comes to setting a goal, how is, you know, what's a good way to make it something that's attainable, you know, instead of, you know, I want to buy my mansion by this time next mm. year, you know, yeah. here's what I always say, you know, the, the, the number one goal that everyone always says, or a lot of people say is losing weight. The best way to do that is if you want to lose 10 pounds, break that down into how, how much weight do you need to lose each week? And you quickly realize that breaking it down into small segments is what's going to allow you to get there. You mentioned, you know, wanting to buy a, 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 a dream house or whatever. <laughs> uh, you have to break that down into what is it going to take to get there. First of all, identify the work that's required in order for you to achieve that goal. And once you identify that, then you break it down. And I always like to break things down by weeks because what happens is people lose track of time when they go so long without tracking their progress. Yeah, that's good advice. Never too early to start. This is a good advice. I'm now firmly believing that I will have a mansion by this time next year. No, that's I also probably, think not, probably not going to happen. But I do like I like all of your advice. I think um, the goals yeah, I realistic, will set realistic, realistic, attainable goals.